welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to answer question six which came in the 12 examination mathematics paper one 2019 so if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel we invite you to subscribe to our youtube channel and invite your friends to subscribe to our youtube channel so the question was as follows a company declared a dividend of one kwacha 15 gwe per share. Musalala has 600 shares in the company. How much will she get? Okay. A company declared a dividend of one kwacha 15 gwe per share. Musalala has nine has 600 shares in the company how much will she get okay first of all i'm going to write the information given the data we're going to use on the left side and that is the data we are going to use we have got 600 shares and one quarter 50 ngwe per share so for us to find how much musalala got we need to multiply the shares by the price of a share okay we have to multiply the shares by a price of one share okay so what we're going to do is we're going to i'm i'm going to write 600 shares on top and i've put uh, 0 0.00 because as you can see one qu one quarter 15 gwe is in decimal number so those two zeros they're just holding the place values okay all right once we have done that then what we're going to do i'm going to draw the line there then i'll start multiplying now as you can see i'm multiplying by one quarter there is k there this is the this is because i don't want to forget that quarter because my answer should be in quarter okay so zero times zero will give us zero zero times zero will give us zero Zero times zero will give us zero. Zero times zero will give us zero. Zero times six will give us zero. Okay. Once I'm done multiplying there, then next thing is I'm going to multiply six hundred by five, which is down. Okay. So since I'm going to use five, I'm going to write zero there, a press order zero, just one zero. Then I'll start multiplying. Five times zero will give us zero. Five times zero will give us zero. 5 times 0 will give us 0. 5 times 0 will give us 0. Then 5 times 6 will give us 30. Now, I'm going to write the entire 30 because 6 is the last number. There is no other number I'm going to multiply. If I was multiplying, with an, there was another number after 6, I could have written 0. Now, since there is no number, then I'm just going to write the whole 30 there. Okay? Then that is the answer we're going to get. If you are wondering why I'm not considering the decimal points, the decimal points will be considered in the final answer. As we finish adding, then we shall consider putting the decimal number. Okay. Now, once we have done that, then we are going to multiply 600 by 1. Okay. Since we are going to multiply it by 1, that means we are going to write two zeros down there in advance to hold the press values. Okay. Then we will start multiplying 1 by 0, give us 0. 1 by 0 will give us 0, 1 by 0 will give us 0, 1 by 0 will give us 0, 1 by 6 will give us 6. Okay, that is now we have finished multiplying uh, uh, 600 by 1.5. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to add, so I'm going to underline there and then put the plus sign. Okay. Once I've done that, then I'll start adding. We always start adding from the right going to the left. Okay? So I'll draw even another line there. Then let's start adding 0 plus 0 plus 0 will give us 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 will give us 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 will give us 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 will give us 0. 0 plus 0 plus 0 will give us 0. 0 plus 0 will give us 0. Then we are going to add 3 plus 6 will give us 9. Okay, that's the answer we have, we have gotten. But we shouldn't forget about the K, which we, we, the, the quacha sign, which we are going, which is there. The one we have underlined with red ink there. Then I'm going to bring it down here. Okay, 
now I've written that then the other thing we shouldn't forget is the decimal point very very important because the answer we have gotten here is 9 million so it's not 9 million yet okay this is not the correct answer yet so we need to find where to put the decimal point now to, to identify where we are going to put the decimal point what we need to do is we need to count the decimal process the decimal places the number we multiplied have all together the decimal places these two numbers have together so as you can see on top there we have zero zero that is two decimals and here we have got uh, five zero okay on top we have point zero zero and down we have point five zero so when we count those decimal places there are four so that means our product or our sum should have should have uh, four decimal places because the numbers we, we, we use had four decimal places together the first number is two decimal places and the second number is two decimal places so together they are four decimal numbers decimal places so we will count um, from right going to the left four places so when we count our decimal place will come here so that means it's no longer Mm, 9 million it's 900 now okay so therefore you can say therefore musalala got 900 kwacha musalala got 900 kwacha so basically this is how you are supposed to solve this question and this is the answer examiners were expecting from students Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, we urge you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you found this video help, remember to like it and also share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.